We've been received with open arms, we've been received with encouragement, and it gives us confidence to go back to the United Kingdom, and I'll be going to Canada soon, and talk to our investors and say the place to invest in the mineral industry in Western Africa is Nigeria. Right now we're carrying on an assessment of the project. What I envision is initially when we start there's going to be a smaller investment of five to ten million dollars but as we begin the full mining operations and if the deposit is as big as we hope it's going to be you're going to be talking about costs of 50 to 100 million dollars over a period of 10 years to 15 years we're in london and this particular group we met them uh, during one of our houses in London, we presented the data and of course uh, we told them to come to Nigeria. So it, it, it's a happy day today that they're here and the project is a reality. We look forward to greater things uh, from this. Yes, leakage uh, covers, uh, part of that is the illegal mining and it transcends the ministry. Uh, we're working with other agencies, gov uh, government departments and ministries as well so that we can overcome all these leakages. There's leakage at the port, those who export illegally without paying uh, the royalty that is due. We have people who mine illegally and all that. So it's a multifaceted problem. And we are cooperating with other agencies, especially the security agencies, to make sure that we, we, we reduce it as much as possible. It's almost impossible to eliminate it, but at least we can keep it to the barest minimum.